This is the way. This is Ferbo. Big news. We finally have an open source multimodal video model, the RTX 2.0. With this model, we can now generate a video with synchronized audio in it. For a long time, we have been suffering from videos with no sound, like the 1.2.2 and 1.2.5 is no longer open sourced. We all know that using open sourced model, how many unlimited things we can do with it. The closed source models like Sora or Clean are censored heavily, so I dive into this new model. Since the day it was released, testing again and again, playing with it, pushing the limits of this new model. Now let me share my findings with you, along with some out of the box workflows you can try right away. Some of the workflows may not be so perfect yet and seem too complex. Since this model is quite new and we need to wait for the community to catch up. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make it work with a low VRAM GPU so you can run this model locally and focus on the current capabilities and the potential of the model from text to video, image to video and video to video. Make sure you watch the whole video to get a full picture of this new model. Let's take a look at the models first and then we'll go through the workflows and examples in detail. From its intro page, you can see it is DID based audio video foundation model that contains all core capabilities of modern video generation in one model. Synchronized audio and video, high fidelity, etc, etc. It has two types of variants, now the deaf version and the distilled version. The deaf version is for the best quality and the distilled version is much faster but the quality from a testing is much much lower. And it also has other complementary laws for control net, camera control etc etc. Like you can see here, this is the Kenny depth, this is the control net lower and this is the camera control lower. Pay attention to the prompt session here. For this model you need to be very careful with the prompt. You have to follow the recommended format to get a better result. Like, like you can see here, this is a short version of the tips about prompt. You need to start from a single action and, uh, and then specify the details and the characters, the background, etc, etc. And here's a very detailed guide for this model. I highly recommend you read through this so you can structure a prompt to get the best result. But if writing a prompt is a headache for you, <laughs> just like me, no worries. I have built up a prompt uh, enhancement group in the workflow. So you can just write a simple prompt and the AI will expand and refine the prompt for you following these prompt requirements. But this is not a 100% thing as the dev team said, you can see here, the limitation of the models. The prompt following is heavily influenced by the prompting style and the model may fail to generate videos that matches the prompt perfectly. That means you may need to run a few more times and adjust the prompts to cherry pick the best result. This is the same for all the new models. And from testing, this model is like kind of like half censored by default. <laughs> if you want to do some uncensored stuff, you could use a obliterated text encoder for now, like this one here. This is a uncensored text encoder. Using this one, you could somehow bypass the censorship, but it is not so perfect yet. For now, there are no non-safe work laws for this new model yet, but I think it will be soon. And that's it for the models. Now the workflows. I have also uploaded the workflows into Running Hub, the cloud computer platform I've been using to develop workflows and test new ideas. Also free and faster. Here you don't need to set up or download anything, just click and run. And the good news is that the 48 gigabyte GPU is also freed for common users now. So if you don't have enough VRAM, 
you could give it a try on this cloud computer platform. Now back to the workflow. Start from the text to video. In this workflow, I use the latest separated version of the model, not the official checkpoint model. Since the official one consumes too many resources, RAM and VRAM both. Thanks to the great guys from the community, now we have the separated files. They can further lower the VRAM usage to run this model. The GTUF version of this model is yet to be supported at the time of recording. You can see here, this page is still not supported yet. Maybe in one or two days. For now, we can use the FPA version. And the main trick to run this model with the low VRAM GPU is to use this FPA version of the test encoder or FP4 if you have a 50 series of GPU, like you can see here. FPA version, FP4 version, and this reserve VRAM node. Oh, sorry. This is on the cloud computer. Let's switch back to the local version here. Since this one is not supported on the cloud computer. This one. This reserved VRAM node. Please give him a star if you can. This node is kind of like the old block swap node. You just say that you serve the VRAM here. One means one gigabyte. And it will always make the VRAM you set here not to be occupied and shift the burden to the RAM. So you will not get an out of memory error. But you need to have enough RAM memory, at least 64 gigabyte, and set the virtual memory to a double size of the RAM. And of course, it will be much slower, but at least you can run it locally. If you don't know how to set up the virtual memory, let me give you a quick tour. Just click this one, this button, and then go to the settings, and then click system. Scroll down, click about, and then click the advanced system settings, and then click performance, and then settings, and then click the advanced. Here you can see virtual memory set up and then click change. Set up with the virtual memories here, the initial size and the maximum size. I recommend double the size of your RAM and then click OK, restart your computer. That's it, very simple. Now back to the workflow. And the speed up group here, if you have Sage Attention and the Triton installed, you can enable this group, click here to enable or disable. It's like 20% or 30% faster. On the left side is all the models used in this workflow. If you run this workflow locally, open the links and download the model files to the specified place. If you are new to Comfy UI, I will also provide the installation guide for you in the description below. On the right is the user input group. You can set up resolution here, the video length and the frame rate and the scene here. The prompt here, you could write it on your own here in this green node. This is the positive prompt which means the things you want in the result. This purple one is the things you don't want in the result, negative prompt. Or if you found writing a prompt is too much for you, you can also enable this prompt enhancement group. Click here to enable and link the output to this green node here and write a simple prompt here. Yeah, and then the green VL node will refine the prompt for you based on the requirements you specified here just like the one in the official page. And the latent here, you don't need to touch it. The two K sampler stage group here. The first one is to generate the basic output. And the second one is to upscale it. You can see in the previous group, we have resized the resolution to half here. So we need to upscale it in this stage two sampler to upscale it back to the original output size. I also added two detailer laws in each group for the best quality, this one and this one. It really helps. I recommend you use this. And other parts, no need to change them unless you know what you're doing. The extra camera control laws below, if you want to adjust the camera angle, just enable them. These laws are quite strong. Sometimes you can even use it without a prompt just by enabling it. And the next one is the image to video workflow. Mostly remain the same. I just added the temporal upscaler here. The test video only has spatial upscaler. This is to fix the no motion or slow motion issue of the official workflow. You know, use the default official workflow. You can barely make the input image move. If you played with it, you know what I mean. But it's still not perfect yet and requires lots of 
VRAM to run. Since here in this upscale group, we double the frames generated. So I recommend you try this one on running hub with a 48 gigabyte GPU. The last one is the video to video workflow. In this workflow, you can use a control video to guide the video generation using three control net we saw before, Kenny, depth and pose. In this workflow, I integrated the three control net into one. You could just select the one you need here. Zero means depth, one means pose, two means Kenny over here. But be careful, if you use a subfolder like me, you need to add this path before this lower name. You can see in my local file structure, I use a subfolder under the lower folder. So I need, need to add this prefix to this one here. If you don't have a subfolder like me, you could just delete this one. The video to video workflow also supports using a reference image. But the consistency is not that great as other technologies like one anime or scale. You could give it a try. Just set this ignore first frame to false and it will take into account this input frame and use this input frame to generate a video like this one here, you can see, right? And that's all for the workflow explanation. Now let's take some runs to better understand how they work and start from the text to video workflow. Here, if you want to write the prompt yourself, just unlink this one and then disable this prompt intense group. Write the prompt yourself. Basically, you need to describe the action first and then the character details and then the camera movement and then other details. If you want to make a person say something in the video, just specify the language and wrap the text in a quotation marks like this. You could set, you could specify other languages too. Here I just just use English for easier testing. Let's enable this prompt enhancement group and link the output to this node and use a simple prompt like this. A Mandalorian is standing by his spaceship in a desert at dusk. His right fist pats on his chest and he says, "This is the way." And then climb into his spaceship, take off into the sky. Click run. About the speed, I tested the longest uh, video I generated is a 20 second video with my 3080 with 20 gigabyte of VRAM. It took like 14 minutes to generate, maybe due to the lack of v VRAMs. But if you have enough VRAM, the generation process is really, really fast. And here's the results. This is the way. This is the way. And then the image to video workflow. Just link the input image to this current VL node. If you want this node to take into account this input image and write the prompt for you. I don't recommend run this workflow locally, but if you insist, must set this and have enough RAM and the virtual memories. And the last one is the video to video workflow. Here, just upload a reference video and write the prompt here if you don't want to use the prompt enhancement group. In this workflow, you can also use the original audio. I have set it here. If you want to use it, you could just link it to this audio. Here's a test I made earlier, <laughs> only using the post and then use a kind of forbidden prompt. Here's what I got. A kind of Indian style girl. <laughs> This is not using the reference image. And as I said before, when you use a reference image, the consistency is not that great. If the input image and the input video are disproportionate, if the input image and the input video matches, you will get a much better result. And here's another example I made on the cloud platform. As I said before, you could also use the original audio. Like here, I used the original audio. And this one. The community is actively working on this new model and the new things will pop up in no time. Like digital human and the first and last frame or infinite video all with native audio. I will keep update on this model. 
please stay tuned. And that's all for today's video. If you think it is helpful, please like, share the video and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, please share them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you.